Randy Hauser. 2022 is a big year, Randy. You got new baby, new album. I mean, it's crazy. It's like it's like one more thing in my head might explode. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the difference? And I, I do want to talk about the album in a second. But what's the difference in one and two kids for you? Because Huck's four, right? And you have a ten year old, but that's like an older. That's like older. Yeah. But four and baby Huck, at the house. Huck's three. He uh, yeah. he turned he turned three in June. But like they say, terrible twos is a, or what's up? But no, I swear it's three. So when you have a you baby know? and a three year old, can the three year old watch the baby while you guys go to dinner? <laughs> We're trying. We're at, we're asking him, but he said he had other plans. Oh, okay. All right. I get it. Once his independence, I get it. Yeah. It was a diaper party. And- yeah, I hear that. Uh, new album out today as well, and it, it's it's been a while, my friend. So, also yeah. very exciting. Like I don't know. You wake up, the record's out. Do you go and look on Instagram or Twitter to see what people are saying about it? I guess you know it's, it's so weird because traditionally I've been like. Okay, I got to do my trip to Target and Walmart or whatever, and go buy the record. All of, like, that's almost non-existent now, you know. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess I'll just—I'll probably go look at your all your social media stuff and see if anybody's saying anything. How bad they're just dogging on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what you go to ours for—is to see people dogging on anything. Mostly me. If you go to ours. <laughs> It's just everybody attacking me. Do you do you get any hate mail? I feel you. I figure you're so beloved, Randy. Does anyone ever say anything about you that's not positive? I, don't, I mean, of course they do. You know, I mean, it's like, I mean, it just not nothing really bad though. I, I don't know. I'm pretty. I don't know. I, I'm pretty stoic when it comes to that stuff. I think it just I, I, you have to be. I don't know how you deal with that. You know, I mean, but it's like they people don't realize they can actually hurt your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is absolutely right. true, and I do get my feelings hurt sometimes, and I am real. Yeah. And if you prick me, I do bleed, Randy. I know. I don't. I don't think that people realize that when they're, they're just talking, typing to a screen, and they don't realize that they don't realize that, that they're affecting the mental health of a person that they're actually just firing bullets at. You know, Randy's the one doing it. I can tell <laughs> he's the one that's been saying this stuff about me. It just oh, it's always me, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, by the way, the new album is out today. Note to self. Yeah. How many tracks is this record? Just 10. Ju- you know what's funny? Yeah. You say just 10. That's a lot. But at the rate that some people are putting out, I, and I like that it's 10 because yeah. there are some people like, hey, we're doing a new record. It's uh, 93 tracks. And I'm like, I'll never be able to hear all those. I saw one the other day. It was like 30 something. The most I've ever had on an album was 16. And it was too many. It was like, okay, we're bored. You know, you get bored with something after that many. But So I think, you like, for me, I'm going to keep scaling it back. You know, I like that. I've gotten to where I kind of like the E.T. thing. You know, where it's just like, you know, six, five, six songs. It's just like you can concentrate. You can put more attention on something like that way, you know? Yeah, I, feel so I don't like know. If it's too long, I don't get to spend enough time with each song. Yeah. And this is, you know, each song is an independent piece of art that people have sat together and created both uh, with words and thoughts and ideas and then sonically in a different space. And if it's so much, if it's like a four hour movie or a three and a half hour movie, I struggle with those because I eventually unfairly, my attention span is not there anymore. No, I know. I I get that. And especially being and, and with doing what you do and trying to stay familiar with what everybody's doing. You just don't have enough time to to put into a whole to a, albums that are not that long, people. You know. Yeah, the only albums I listen to now are nine tracks or less. Just heads up. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> just shave one off of mine. Just just randomly shave one off of okay. mine and listen to nine of them. <laughs> hey, what is the role you have in Killers of the Flower Moon? Um, I, I'm basically like an attorney, uh, but I play the guardian over the estate of. Um, the family that Leo's, uh, the Leo's family, you know, like the, I, and I own a general store, like a big general store. It'd be like what, what Walmart of the day is, you know? So my wife has read that book, I think a couple of times. I have a great book. Yeah, I, I haven't. She just, she talks about it a, a bunch. And so, I, and I've seen it around the house. And so that's why I know it and her telling me the story. But then Martin Scorsese is the director, right, of Killers of the Flower Moon? Yeah. And it comes out yeah, he is. next year. And how do you get this role? And how, I mean, how did they approach you to audition for it? And did you audition? 
I did, you know, it, but you know, it's, it was really strange because it's not, it's not really something I ever saw myself doing, but it was uh, just a request that came through my agency for, through my management and just out of the blue asked if I would be interested in uh, reading for it. And I, and I was like, well, I don't know what, I, I'm not an actor, but yeah, I guess so. And I just went through that process like five times with the uh, casting agent. And um, like the fifth time, they they were like, would you cut your hair and shit? Yes, of course, I I guess I would, you know. Wow. So they gave me the part. I'll be completely unrecognizable in it. That's so weird. Wow. Did you, this is a dumb question, but um, humor me. I mean, I assume you got to meet Scorsese? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he must have met him a lot. Yeah. 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 Uh, Is it pretty intimidating (laughs) to be around one of the greatest to ever do it? Dude, it was, I mean, so, yeah, it was fairly intimidating. I was, so my very, very first scene I was in was at this, at this, at this general store that they had built. Like, it's huge. It looked like if you walked into, I don't know, it, it was stuff that spent tons of money on the scene. The day before, I'd seen a guy take like 17 takes for each angle and they were getting aggravated with him and I could tell. And I walked in and my first, scene was uh with the at this huge table in the back which would have been my table that with leo and his family so here i am first day it goes in like that you know and it's so scorsese's kind of running through it with me and all that it, it was pretty I'll, I'll i'll save it one day i can come on the show and tell you the whole story but it was nuts that is nuts wow. and i want to get back to the album i want to ask yeah. one more movie question um so yeah. you, what you did lines with dicaprio oh yeah <laughs> oh, yeah. Says, oh, first, yeah. oh yeah that's my cool. first day my first day was with leo my second day was with de niro what? we're gonna pick up all these lanes you know okay so we're gonna <laughs> this conversation i'm gonna hold till he comes in so yeah. next time randy comes in that that crazy right i mean wow. yeah in this wow. to think that it just kind of came across his desk let me check my desk real quick <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> an extra and a tide commercial oh. that's what i got an extra <laughs> I get to be a real one. I mean, that's amazing. Jeez, it was it was it was actually. You know, I realize that there's a strong parallel to, from what we do walking on stage to uh, to the what actors do, and that's just hitting your own switch. Because I was, you know, I was so nervous before, but when it when it came time for that, they were taking me from my little chair onto the set. It was just like, okay, we're going to work. You know, uh, so it's cool. I hear you, but that's like. That's like you're gonna go and hey, we're gonna need you for a basketball game. All right, cool. I'm gonna go over there. Oh, oh, with Michael Jordan. Oh, oh, Magic John. Oh, oh, Larry Bird. Yeah. Oh, cool, Kobe. It's like what? Yes. Well, it was. It it felt a lot like that. We will get back into that next time you're in. But the album is called Note to Self. It's it's ten tracks. Hey, what do you think here is the, is the most like I'm gonna say traditional, old school country song? What's the most traditional song on the record? On the on this record, yeah. probably uh, country around here tonight. And why? What what about that song makes you feel like it's the most country? Well, for me, it reminds me of everything that was cool when I was, you know, seventeen, eighteen years old, and riding around the Sonic parking lot in Mississippi, you know. And and it was also, you know, reminds me of a time in those years when I was playing little bars, um, and setting up all the PA and everything myself for, you know, a and waiting on the line of cars to come in to play every night. I mean, it's just that that classic barroom country uh, 90s vibe about it. And this record is not a 90s throwback record, but that song has just got that so much of that vibe about it, you know. Do you care if, so I, I, think, if I play that one? You, you have a problem with that? No, I'd love you to play All right, well, then that's what I'll do. Hey, he, he hopes. Right. I do. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> This is a country round here tonight. The new album is out. It's called Note to Self. Randy Hauser, finally. It's back. It's 10 tracks for you. If you're like me and you only have nine, pick one to throw away. Pick one to never listen to. I'm going to pick, hmm, which one do I think looks really dumb? I'm just kidding. I'm not going to pick it. I'm just kidding. I'm, not, I'm just well, kidding. Well, you know what? Listen to the one you're about to play and then listen to the other nine some other time. Okay. I'll do that. I'll do one a year. Hmm. <laughs> Check back in in 20 and 2032. All right, he's got a new record out today. It's called Note to Self, and we're going to play country around here tonight. Randy, congrats on the new record. Congrats on the baby. Congrats on the the, the movie. I mean, it's yeah. everything's coming up, Randy. Well, you know what I'm saying? 
crazy man yeah. but i'm very thankful for all of it and thank y'all for for uh for letting everybody know about the record all right buddy we'll talk to you soon all right thanks bob all right thank there he is randy hauser everybody. Woo!